Exercise Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play the piano part to Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. And oh my god, you guys requested this like no other song ever. <laughs> very happy to do this one today and if you can't tell uh, by my voice it's a little bit hoarse just from I've been teaching a lot this week so I'm going to do my best to sing this one. Um, if you're interested in the full chords and lyrics they're all links down below as is the sheet music as well. I've made the sheet music for this one today. So this one is in the key of B flat major. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of B flat major. <laughs> So the chords are going to be formed using those notes. Here is middle C. I'm using my piano rake today, just in case you're unsure of the notes. I'm going to teach both hands together, so left hand is blue and the right hand is orange. It pretty much just comes in straight away with the verse, and we have these octave B flats. So if you can't stretch octaves, just you, obviously you're just going to have to play one of them. So pick whichever one you want to play, and I will just play both of them. So you're going to play that four times. And then the left hand comes in. You're going to be playing chords in the left hand. The first chord is a B flat major. Root position, which is B flat, D and F. So you play this four times. And you're going to play one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's for two bars. And then the left hand changes to G minor. So that's G, B flat, and D. For another two bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have an E flat five. So again, if you can't stretch the octaves, just play E flat and B flat. But if you can, add that E flat in there as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you play that B flat for another bar. So that's the first part of the verse. So I'll just sing that first part. repeat that again just without the B flats at the beginning and you're probably with that blonde girl who always made me down she's so much older than me she's everything I'm insecure about yet yeah, today I drove through the suburbs because how could I ever love someone else into the chorus. So we've got these broken up chords. So the left hand, we're going to play that E flat 5 again, or just E flat and B flat. And the right hand, so it's based around an E flat major 7 chord. And um, so the notes are on the screen. B flat, G, D, G, B flat, G, D, G, twice and you play that E flat 5 again and the right hand with the B flat so I'm going to play B flat G C G D G E flat G so that bit goes and I know now it's B flats in the left hand or just a single B flat based around a B flat major chord the right hand is going to play 
B flat, F, D, F, C, F, D, F. You can use these fingers if you want. But no one. Can you do all that again? Touches Try my best to sing, <laughs> and then we've got these quicker succession of chords. So we have that you're just going to play once. We have G minor, so you can play octaves in the left hand if you want. My lowest note is out of shot, but I'm just playing octave G's. So we've got G minor, which is G, B flat, and D, and then we move down to F major, which is F A C. And then we have B flat major, so B flat's in the left hand, and this is second inversion of B flat major, so the same position we were in previously, so F, B flat, and D. And then we have D minor, root position, so it's D, F, A, with D in the left hand. And then we have an E flat major 7, again. So in the left hand you just play E flats, in the right hand you just effectively play a G minor chord, so G, B flat, so that's an E flat major 7, but we're just sharing the notes between the two hands, makes it easy to play. So I'll just do that progression of chords again. The last bit there, we have C minor. So the right hand you can play C, E flat, and G, which is just a C in the left hand. And then we have an F major second inversion chord. So it's C, F, and A, or you can play it like this. It's up to you how you want to divide the notes between the hands, whichever you find easiest. And then we're just going to play B flats. I'll do that bit again. Cause you said forever, now I drive along past your street. So I'll do all that chorus now. And I know you are perfect, but I've never felt this way for no one. And I just can't imagine how you could be so. So the, the third verse is half the length of the first one. So we've still got these reoccurring B flats in the right hand, but the left hand, you could just play it how we were playing it before. Um, but it's playing in fifths. I'll just teach you the left hand. So you could play B flat, F, B flat, or just B flats and F if you can't stretch the octaves. So we've got. which would be G minor, so it's G, D, and G. And the E flat 5, which was the same as last time. And then back to the B flat for another bar. So that's all the first is doing the second time, but as I said, if you prefer, you can just go back to playing the chords as we did before. And all my friends are tired of hearing how much I miss you, but I kind of feel sorry for them, cause they'll never know you the way that I do. Yeah, today I drove through the suburbs, I'm pictured
into the chorus part. And I know we were perfect, but I've never felt this way for no one. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone. Cause you Now we're into the bridge. So there's a bass part which we can add. It just goes B flat A before it comes in. So I'll just go over the chords. So there's only four chords that you play and then you repeat that progression four times. We have G minor and you're gonna play the chords on the beat. So you're gonna go one, two, Repeat the old left hand note there if you want to. And the next chord is that E flat major seven, so you're just going to keep your right hand there and move your left hands to E flats for another eight, eight times. Then we've got that B flat major chord again. So none of these chords are new. Then into the F major chord. that now. but it's played a little bit different. And I know you weren't perfect, but I never felt this way. So the left hand, you're just gonna play E flat and B flat. And the right hand, you're gonna play G and B flat. And then you're gonna change the B flat to a C. Change it to a D. Replay the left hand. Change it to an E flat. So I know you are perfect, but I've never felt this way. And then for no one. In the left hand, you just play the B flat. In the right hand, you can play the F and the B flat. And then you change it to a C. And then a D. And then repeat that B flat. For no that part again and I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I'm gone and the next bit is different so we've got G in the right hand and then oop, D and B flat in the right hand then we have F C and A Then we have D, F and D. Back to the F, C and A. And then E flat, B flat and G. Let's do that again. So 
So that bit goes, that's this part. Yes, you did, I mean what you wrote in the song about me. And then we play that C minor chord again. Cause you said forever, now I drive along past your street. Is that a bit similar? And the second time. Cause you said forever, now I drive along past your so it's G and then G and B flat. So it ends on G minor. So it's in a key of B flat major, but it ends on the relative minor chord, which is G minor. So I'll do all that last chorus again. And I know you weren't perfect, but I've never felt this way for no Secure. 
So that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed, all requests are noted and considered, so I look forward to seeing you over there.